Did you ever play the Star Wars Edge of the Empire role playing game? Yeah, I did the. You you did the intro box set with me and a few other people. Um, oh, I remember that. Was that when we had Magma Mel, or was that a different? Because I've run that um, that starter box uh, mm. several times. Um, yeah, I didn't love. Uh, maybe we were playing it wrong, or maybe they changed the rules since then. But I remembered, like, if you rolled like a minor downside on the dice, you sort of used up your stamina, and I just remember. Constantly that, oh God, dodging that. my stamina stat and just crossing out, writing it again, crossing it out. Oh, again. Geez. And I hated that mechanic because yeah. it, it had no impact on the game. When you're playing just the core starter set, mm. uh, yeah, you do just either gain a stamina or lose a stamina, basically, is what that. But you yeah. actually can do a lot more stuff with that. Um, okay, so if you GM it properly, you can turn that into complications. Or yeah, you can make it way more interesting, but in okay. just the starter rules, like it's really, really basic. And it just means that you're just stamina is wobbling around. It just doesn't feel like... I never felt like I had made any impact on the game. I never ran out of stamina. Yeah. Um, so it just felt like busy work, mm. you know? Um, but they... So they did... Um, the original uh, Edge of the Empire, which was which was this one where you play where you play scumbags, mm -hmm. uh, and which uh, is the best part of Star Wars. Yeah. Wow, are they selling this again? Wow, I thought they'd. Um, I thought this was discontinued. I yeah. Like looking. Looks like. Oh no, out of sight. Oh. You tease. Uh, but then they did. So that's kind of like, sort of like the first movie. Mm -hmm. Um. But the next one, Age of Rebellion, mm -hmm. is a bit like you're on Hoth uh, with these guys. Um, oh, you play as wow. these guys in uh, dreamy. in the the Star Wars. Uh, but the next one is so the first one you're just playing like scumbags. Mm -hmm. The next one you're actually playing as members of the Resistance. Mm -hmm. And I did I got around to watching Andor. Hooray! We can talk about Andor. I finally got around to watching it. Did you finish it? I did. What do you think? I loved it. I thought it was great. Really good till it. Well, like, might be my show of the year. Uh, really enjoyed it. I can't remember what else I watched. Well, the Severance was also this year, so maybe not. I, I think I preferred it to Severance. I like Severance a lot, but I'm worried that it's fucking mystery I, box. I'm worried it's going to mystery box us. I'm real real scared uh, they're going to shit their pants at the end. <laughs> and it's just going to just go anywhere. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was. I thought it was great. There's a mm. few minor little tweaks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing's perfect. I'd, I'd make. Mm. Um, I like the little three episode arcs. That was great. That it was, was like four different little stories bolted together. It made it so watchable, mm. uh, and it felt like a really good way to kind of like drip feed in the other characters. Like you start out with just mm. Andor, and then I feel like they seamlessly kind of like brought Mon Mothma and that arc in, mm. and. Um, the fucking guy, what's he called? The the art dealer. Yeah, he was great. I yeah. loved like his just complete turn from like ruthless rebel cell coordinator to like flamboyant art it's, seller. It was really really cool. He was good. Mm. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Andy Circus was great. Yeah, he was good. He was really cool. Um, I hope he's okay. Uh, mm. <laughs> Probably not though, is he? <laughs> Ooh, uh, but the. Uh, I did feel like that prison was a little over-engineered. <laughs> well, the it, zap floor. The zap floor. Well, that's how you, you know, control a thousand people with ten guards, right? Uh, yeah, it feels like there could be loads of other ways you could have done that. Without zap floor. Zap floor. floor. <laughs> zap floor <laughs> just uh, was kind of wild. Also, it kept annoying me. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck me and or when they're like, okay, everyone, bedtime. Oh, he always waited till the last like, second. He was like literally <laughs> stepping off of the floor that kills you. Yeah. Like, as the lights go off. Yeah, like the moment that siren goes off and everyone else jumps into bed, Andor's just stood there going, <whistles> he's just like, so, um, <laughs> yeah. so we're going to build some of those big uh, star shapes again tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. I guess. And everyone's like, Andor, get, get, get into, into bed. bed. And he's like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna look at the corridor a bit more, I guess. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That, yeah, that was annoying. Um, oh, did you like Officer Biro? Off Spiro, uh, yeah, I like I like <laughs> those guys. And the, his weird mum, uh, like hassling it. <laughs> like they were kind of funny. Um, I can see, I can fully agree with why that guy got fucking fired. Um, 
I really liked his boss. I think oh, his boss was amazing. I, I just felt <laughs> really bad for his boss. Because his boss was just like, I can tell him exactly what this is, and it's not worth investigating. Yeah, like, you, this is going to create more problems. <laughs> yeah. Do not do it. It's not worth anyone's time. Mm -hmm. Look, an accident happened. Yeah, and just give the guy a medal. Yeah, nothing too flashy, because <laughs> yeah. we don't want to praise. Like, look, <laughs> we have so many other problems. We're just going to brush this under the carpet. Yeah, and it... It's not an issue. Also, the guy was 100% right. <laughs> right. He really was. Like, but he said it with like, that was the thing I loved about Andor is every character, even this guy who's in two fucking scenes in the yeah. whole thing, I immediately believe he's a real person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He feels like a proper character. Um, in just a few lines of dialogue, I, I understand who this person yeah, is. Yeah, you can instantly latch on to, especially the way he's delivering those lines. Mm -hmm. He's been doing that job for a long time. Mm -hmm. and, and he knows what he's doing. <laughs> and he was probably this, like, red-hot go-getter when he was younger, but then he mm. realizes, like, how everything works. Yeah, he got a bit ground down by the system, and, and now he's just going to be like, we just need to grease these wheels and, and keep everything rolling. And just keep it moving. And, you know, we can't fuck around too much, otherwise... We have to deal with the Empire every day, and no one wants that. <laughs> the Empire fucking <laughs> They're fucking bad dudes. And, uh, yeah. And old um, Officer Biro was like, well, it's not proper. Uh, no, I don't think that we should let this slide. And then he's the one who kind of causes all of this stuff to happen. <laughs> yeah. uh, I did like his goon sergeant that was with him. Oh, yeah, who he was, was just great. Like, I loved they portrayed that as well because it was clear that they had like this SWAT team mm. who'd basically never been on a mission yeah. before. But they were like real keen <laughs> to like, uh, you know, break out their batons and their guns because they were like, yeah, get around, just kick, kick some heads in. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, I thought they were great. Like, really, really good. Uh, I like the ragtag group of rebels. Like doing the mission, mm. and so like I know, before anyone kind of like you know is going to correct me, mm -hmm. part of their mission was they have to infiltrate it, infiltrate the base as oh, like, like Imperial. Imperials. Yeah. But I really, really wish there had have been at least one fucking Mungo alien in that, yeah, in, in that the gang. squad, like one big dungus with like a heavy machine gun <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't, they wouldn't have been able to infiltrate with them, but it would have looked cool. It, it would have just been a bit more fun if you had an alien. Hmm. Uh, I, I know why they didn't. Yeah. But they did get to see the weird doctor afterwards, though, with the four arms. He was kind of cool. <laughs> uh, like, kind of rad. Oh, man, that scene um, where he fucking blasts that other dude. Uh, spoilers. We're getting into Oh, yeah, we're spoiling, spoiling it hard. Um, but man, like when that when that dude is like, we're gonna split this money. Oh we're, yeah, we're, yeah. Fuck these two. Like, look, I, I'm I'm a rebel. I don't fucking like the Imperium, but I don't like the Resistance either. Mm. I want like twenty million credits. <laughs> yeah. And he's like making this really good sales pitch to Andor, but he's getting a bit pushy, and yeah. they're just like, <laughs> blam, and just yeah. Well, I mean, it was. It was grim, but it was the right call because also, if Andor says no, that guy kills him. Yeah, there was right? no way out of that scenario. <laughs> no. uh, but I love the way he was just like, I'm taking my stuff, I'm leaving you the rest. Please don't sh shoot yeah, me. <laughs> don't shoot me, I'm leaving, I just want my money. <laughs> yeah. uh, was was great, it was really fucking good. Mm. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, oh I, yeah, those weird fishing aliens, they were in it. They were kind of fun. They were kind of weird, <laughs> like with their fucking their slime traps. Yeah, and their fish metaphors. Yeah, just, just weird dudes. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Oh, everything was good. I like the little, the little PTSD droid. Oh, I loved him. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I just felt. There was one part where I was worried he'd been like bugged by the Empire, and oh. I thought he was gonna like betray them all. Oh no! <laughs> like, no! Not little robo oh, man. What's his name? <laughs> Fucking Bebo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I loved him so much. He was just, he was just oh. a bit scared, and he just wanted to sit in his recharge bay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, just he was, he was adorable. Like so cute. Really, really, really liked him. I genuinely feel like I connected with every single character in that show. Yeah, you can more just, like, than even the main characters of the recent films. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, I super agree. 
like, like you, every single side character. I was like, I want to know more about that guy. What's he up to? Yeah, it just felt like there was a lot of very solid motives, even if mm. for very basic characters, you could understand exactly why they did whatever yeah. they did. They felt like real people doing real things instead of plot contrivances to deliver exposition. Like, yeah. You know, it was so refreshing um, to have like three-dimensional characters in a Star Wars. Yeah, was was really, really good. I highly, highly recommend uh, the speech from the old lady at the end. That was great. Although, mm. if I was one of those fucking... I'd have turned that shit off way earlier. The moment <laughs> the... The first line where they're like, "You should rise Stop. up," and like, I'd be like, "No, right, send in the fucking guards, shoot that fucking droid." Like, they kicked him over. That's because they tried to put a put a jacket, a jacket on, it and they, they didn't do it properly. I would have shut that shit down immediately. Yeah. But I think, like, part of it was this is the first time they've had to deal with significant like rebellion. Like, mm. up until now, the Empire's just done whatever it's like to no one's really pushed back too hard and now they're like oh shit actually how do we handle this we haven't really trained for this we haven't dealt with this before do you know what i mean they felt kind of unprepared for the riot i know because they they'd already spoken about um when they had the 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 whatever they went to a planet that resisted mm. and so they recorded the the fucking genocide children and then they were playing that as torture oh yeah because they were aliens they just Oh, Shoot guess. all the aliens. That, that's <laughs> yes, their if policy. aliens fuck around, <laughs> let them up, boys. <laughs> yeah, but, if it, but if it's a people, then uh, you know, no, you know, shoot the people. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those um, sadness screechers would were, were genocided. Oh, hundred percent. Like they ain't having having the best day. No. Uh, but yeah, I would have shut that droid down and not let that big rebellion speech go on. No. Although maybe just shooting the droid would have kicked it off anyway. Yeah, maybe. Like you shoot the droid, some like some people there will be like, "Hey, we like that, like that droid." He's a good boy. Um, <laughs> and you'll be like, "You could be next. Do you <laughs> yeah. want to be next?" And then pipe bomb gets chucked. Yeah, and then that kind of kicks it off. But you know, maybe it wouldn't have gone that far if mm. you didn't let that whole rebellion speech happen. That's true. Although you know, Hammer Man's still gonging away. <laughs> I, I loved Hammer Man. <laughs> yeah. He was great. Um, I also, when they were like, shut that shit down, <laughs> I really thought that, because there was like the sort of uh, hover car thing with a big gun on it. Oh, you thought I they thought they were just going to be like, tower up. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. <laughs> but no, like some fucking pleb walks up and he's like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Can you, you stop, a permit for that? Can you stop doing hammer <laughs> shit? And he was like, fuck you. And just <laughs> kicks him out. It's like, you had a terrible plan going up there. <laughs> yeah. What a dingus. <laughs> hammer man is called the time grappler what wow really i guess because he he's the time man he bongs the time how does he know the time maybe he's force sensitive he's <laughs> force tells him the time just he knows the time <laughs> uh he was cool i liked him it was like fun and it was nice to see like an area like the it wasn't just tatooine Mm. I wasn't just tattooing around. Oh, thank fuck. No tattooing at all. Uh, Very refreshing. Also, we got to meet the beach troopers <laughs> who <laughs> yeah. were fucking dumb as shit. Like, <laughs> Which ones were they? I've forgotten. It was the guys that are like... Oh, they're just arresting random people. <laughs> just random, like, fucking beach people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But they have their, like sand and blue armor <laughs> yeah. because like oh well we're near the water yeah. but also near the beach so so kind of one size fits none <laughs> uh, just i thought it was fucking stupid god those um those droids were terrifying though the arresting droids oh the k2so's yeah yeah they were cool uh, you don't fuck around with those guys no, do you because <laughs> where they're like oh hold him <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the robot just fucking goes for it. You're like, oh, that's not what he said. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he meant like, keep me nearby. Yeah. And Robo, Robo, no understand. No. And would happily fucking snap your neck if he needed to. God, that court scene was really upsetting as well. And they were just like, boom, seven years. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I kind of, kind of like that. Oof. Because wasn't he like six months and then he complains? And it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, 
you know, disrupting the court, boom, six years. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, but I guess that, you know, they were just trying to fill up their factories. They were the filling up the factories. Uh, just with anyone who was, like, able-bodied looking enough. Uh, but yeah, it was very cool. Mm. Um, and so it was after that that I was like, oh, shit, man, I'm really hot to play. Yeah. Because uh, it's all yeah. about, you know, making plans to infiltrate bases and things like that. Cool. And so it was very, very excited. Oh, that sounds that. really fun. What about the post credit scene? I don't think I saw the post credit no, scene. No, that just did nothing for me at all. I don't really understand why everyone got so excited about that. Did, did it turn out someone had a fucking dark saber? Oh my god, I would have vomited out of my eyes if that uh, happened. Just, uh, <laughs> that is the last thing that just, show needs. There's a shot of Andor, and uh, the fucking art dealer is like, Oh, I've been holding this in my art collection for so long. Andor, protect us. And he <laughs> has fucking Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Fuck me, no. Um, yeah, well, massive spoiler, I guess, if you haven't seen it yet. But it's not really, because I think it was pretty fucking obvious. Uh, you know, the, the hexagon triangles they were making in the factory <gasps> oh my god then no don't tell me they're building some kind of weapon they're not building a moon tom <laughs> oh no <laughs> but i feel like that was pretty obvious yeah yeah that was although i part of me kind of likes the i don't care what they're making no doesn't matter. Just that could have been like, that's the thing that just goes on every fucking door on a Star Destroyer. Mm. Like, that's the internal yeah. gear that makes it move up and down. And we just need a fucking load of them because yeah. we have a lot of Star Destroyers. <laughs> and yeah. every Star Destroyer. It's got like 100,000 doors in it. It's got a lot of doors. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't even don't need to know what that thing no, was. Not just they're mindlessly making the same thing over and over again. Yeah. So that just left me so cold, that end credit, because it was like, yeah, we know that, but we've seen, like, we've seen Rogue One. We like, know, it doesn't matter. We know where the Star Wars is going. Yeah. Um, it actually made me feel a bit sadder because, like, that was the, really the only bit of the, remember this? <laughs> <that> the whole <laughs> oh, thing had. yeah. You, know, you don't even see a fucking Stormtrooper till like, fucking episode seven or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. It was so restrained with the do you remembers. <laughs> um, and that was one of the things I loved about it. Yeah, so, it was really good. Is so it, like, finishing it on one of those just made me feel a bit sad. Yeah. We just didn't need it. But like, once again, with the like the the laser floor, laser floor base. <laughs> like on Geonosis when they had the, you know, the droid assembly factory. Oh, yeah. Machines building machines. But I feel like, you know, five, what, well, it takes like five people to mm. put together one of those star things. Yeah. Um, yeah, they can put that together in like half an hour. Could you not have just like five mechanical arms just come in and do that exact same job? Who's going to build the mechanical arms? Yeah, but you only have to build a couple of those. Yeah, but who's going to do that? You have one mechanical arm that one guy has built. <laughs> right. That builds four more. <laughs> yeah. You know what I you can you know what I mean I kind think, of thing. Like, yeah, I just think like um I feel like just, they could have made a factory. Yeah. They probably are for some of it, but this is like short term gains thinking. Like, yeah, you could spend five years building super robot factory that then makes more things, but you could just get a load of prisoners to do it right now. But you have to design and build the big the fl zap floor. Z zap floor base. <laughs> which seems massively over... <laughs> Over-engineered. Over-engineered. It's also in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it's like... But you're on a beach planet where there's no proper land. It's all beach, baby. True, but surely just getting the struts down to the oh, ocean floor... Yeah. seems like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's fun. And I don't want to overthink it too much. Because no, it is Star Wars. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, as always, everything falls apart. Yeah. Uh, there is also space magic. <laughs> there is space magic. It was just the only bit where I was mm. like... Like, every other part I'm really latched onto. Yeah. And I, I'm enjoying this prison escape very much. Hmm. But... Yeah, I don't think too hard. Is this... Is this the best way to do things? <laughs> yeah. But if you've ever played, like, a Star Wars first-person game, like um, any of the old Jedi Knights or Dark Forces games and stuff like that, you should see how the Imperials lay out their bases. There's all sorts of 10-foot gaps that you have <laughs> oh to leap across. There's platforms without walkways oh, or lifts. Jeez, like, yeah. These uh, guys are... 
bonkers with their like yeah face yeah design. whoever their wacky mad scientist architect is <laughs> yeah that just is like a fucking old uni friend of Palpatine yeah um, in this room I'll have a periodic lightning bolt across the middle of the room <laughs> just every now and again <laughs> yeah. it'll be fun the, the the rotating platforms room yeah yeah <laughs> that'll uh, be fun to get to work in <laughs> random laser gates that just keep turning on and off <laughs> yeah. um, and you know what it's been about four rooms since we've had a bottomless pit <laughs> throw one of those in because like i feel like we could really do with a few more of those plus they're economical because if we build a base on the other end of the planet <laughs> great another bottomless pit connect, for connect free them together. Connect them up. and uh that's <laughs> so it goes oh my god yeah. what happens if you do fall into the do you just hang in the middle or do you fall out the other side I, I, get, think, I think you fall forever because eventually you fall so hard and then you fall back and then you fall. It's like a like a pendulum. You swing well, back and forth and never get to the end. Well, I think it depends because you'll you'll fall in, right? Mm. But you'll have like slightly reduced momentum coming out the other side. So you'll yeah. you'll like see the edge and you'll be like, uh, <laughs> and then you go back and you'll get less. And you, every time you get a bit less until you dunk 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 until dunk, you're in the middle dunk, 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 dunk. and then you have to just hang out there with like the other plebs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, all the other dark lords who've been thrown down. The <laughs> yeah, pit. just all, all of those like Sith, like Sith leaders, and you just hang out with them for a bit. Right. Yeah, I think that I think that that probably probably makes sense. Okay. Gravity will crush you at some point. Don't start bringing your logic in here. Because <laughs> no, it doesn't go through the core of the planet. Because you know, you'd have to line that up perfectly. I think it's more like a. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be straight down. It'd be a and you slide. Just sort of scrunch across the floor. <laughs> you'd slide along. No, that's true. And then you'd probably just get stuck in the middle of this mega tunnel. Yeah. Okay, more work needed on the science of bottomless pits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll cross. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> yeah.